the wrestling business, as you know from your background, there is a dance between the promoter or the writer and the talent. And if, if either one of them are out of step, it don't work. Uh, so the, the balance, uh, the greatest example of that is Vince McMahon and Steve Austin. They would have never been if they hadn't been together and against each other. Wouldn't have worked under any other circumstance. And as you know, it didn't for Steve. You know, he was just mediocre in here and then mediocre in Atlanta. And then when he got to New York and became every man with Vince McMahon, he set the wrestling world on fire. So when you worked with Steve, did you have any thoughts on how what his potential would be? No, because see, Steve broke in, Chris Adams, and I had a wrestling school in Dallas because I went out to promote that when the Von Erics were ready to file for bankruptcy. And uh, Steve came to the school and Chris took a liking to him and thought he had potential and then talked to me into doing the student uh, coach angle and incorporated that with the wife, ex-wife, with Jeannie and Tony. And that clicked because of the story. But then Steve came here and he was, you know, just another wrestler. He was green. And uh, never really got over with the fans. And uh, then he went to Atlanta, and boy, it was magic when he went to New York. 